Hello, hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, it's Marta here, how are you doing? I hope you are having a good day and I hope you will join me for today's crafting session. You really, really enjoyed and loved this canvas, vintage, beautiful decoupage canvas mixed media, rustic feeling. And because you loved it so much and asked for more, I couldn't do any different but uh, come up with another video tutorial, another class for you. This time I have few things ready as well. I have gorgeous gorgeous rice paper here and I also have a different canvas because this is very thick canvas also it's a rectangular shape as you can see so we're gonna use those where did I buy it actually look at the price $4.99 only and the, those were from Aldi for three pieces I found it very good price so quality I'm not too sure but I'm not painting on it I'm gluing it stuff on it so I don't mind I also have some brand new products which are rusty patina uh, from imagination crafts texture patina paste and this one is kind of brown and this one is green teal we will test it try it today why not I, I also have some stencils for texture I have some paper and the rice paper as I mentioned I also have a bunch of paper flowers and hopefully I'm gonna use some maybe metal pieces as well sure we will see how it's gonna go uh, without any further ado let's start priming our canvas and let's make this beautiful project together I'm gonna start off by separating, opening my canvases. I always collect those pieces, actually. If you're watching my videos, you would know. <laughs> I think that the price for 99 is really bargain for three pieces like that, which are very thick canvases. Unusual, to be honest. I don't think I have any of that like this. Oh, nice. So what would be great is that we're gonna work on this part outside as well. Unless we're gonna plan on making, like these would be so beautiful for shadow boxes because they are so deep. So working here, maybe on the other canvases, that's what I'm gonna do. Let me just think which size would be best for our project. Is it this one? Or is it this one? Hmm, this is nearly perfect, isn't it? I wouldn't have to do so much, to be honest, here. Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I think I'm tempted to go for the bigger one, so I have a bigger ch um, more chances to go even bigger with her head. There, I'm not too sure what we're gonna do here. Maybe some abstract and some title. Mm, I don't know. We will see. But I think I'm gonna go for the bigger one. Definitely. Back to you. Let me show you what I also prepared. I'm thinking to maybe do a little bit of steampunk. Mm, I'm not too sure. But I have another beautiful rice paper like this one with uh, clocks and this one. And I have some clocks from magazine. I have some magazine pages as well this is a frame another frame that I'm thinking tempt I'm tempted to use and to start off I'm thinking that we need composition to kind of start happening and what I will do is I'm gonna be take adding some wetness some wetness to my paper that way it will be faster for me to to rip it and you will see for yourself how easy that is and fast. So there we go. So you can cut it if you feel with the rice paper or you can use water because it will help you to... Sometimes it's difficult because of the lines of the rice paper but in general it's pretty it's pretty easy and possible if the paper is wet, wet enough. You know? It will easily tear apart. Be careful, don't tear too much of your design. Uh -huh. Even if you make your screen your design, that's okay because rice paper is very plastic and very forgiven product. There we go. So we have Our Lady and of course I think I would prefer Our Lady to be to be without the frame. So I'm gonna get rid of that 
frame back to you I have my girl ready I also ripped the other piece from that uh, paper I cut the clock and I was thinking to maybe use partially for the background some of that papers that are actually very pretty I'm gonna use um, transparent gesso to glue down everything I like working with transparent gesso but oops you may also use decoupage paper and uh, decoupage uh, glue like decoupage uh, everything should work really so don't stress yourself if you don't have transparent gesso I do love working with transparent gesso so now so this this piece but also I was hoping to use some of that because it's so beautiful and vintagey I know there is like this um, frame going on but I'm not into this frame I do love the the what you call it yeah, I love I love the writing oh, I think Hannah is coming here <laughs> or not <sighs> excuse me okay also I was thinking to use <laughs> excuse me I also thought to use this and I'll show you what I was in what I had in mind I thought to cut it in four and use those in the corners of the of the in the corners of the of canvas it's like it's gonna be like a beautiful embellishment metal em metal looking embellishment on the side so this one is from magazine let me fussy cut that and come back to you I have my frame cut fussy cut so I'm gonna cut it in half in four pieces and then cut the rest out my frames are cut and everything so I think before we start planning anything let's just glue it down few things few bits and pieces because it's gonna be difficult now this frame actually if you look at it <laughs> I, I technically didn't have to cut it I didn't know but then it's sticking out here a little bit too much so I was thinking maybe to do it like that look like this and like this and here and here so that way but also move it towards here so we're gonna have this gorgeous ornament still make everything slightly smaller by this which is okay oh, let me just move this um, make everything slightly smaller this lady will be covered then like that something along those lines I was thinking so then we will have enough space to just slightly add few elements few things maybe I'm gonna come up with something that I'm gonna add here I don't know yet maybe some chipboard but I think it's fine high time to get the transparent gesso and glue down our lady we need to start somewhere isn't it <laughs> now I'm trying to find some nice and uh, good brush nice and uh, nice and delicate brush so roughly the lady can be roughly there so okay so I'm gonna grab some gesso more oops okay and we can just add it add her uh-huh now I'm not priming my my canvas now because I would usually prime it with white gesso but I don't want my white gesso to go this is too hard sorry I have to change it to a different brush or maybe this one will be better yeah you kind of it's easier if you have your brush flexible and just your uh, your um, the movement of the hair is there happening so that's kind of better okay let's see maybe she could be a little lower isn't it mm -hmm. that's okay look that's okay she can be like this she doesn't have to have this huge 
things around her head. <laughs> she can be normal and have just a little craziness around it. Okay, I like that. So I'm gonna repeat a little bit more of my of my glue, of my transparent gesso here and there everywhere. Okay, now next one is to think for some kind of background maybe. Let's see what we can add and where. A little I, I'm just hoping for some kind of interesting mixture of colors and backgrounds. We're gonna afterwards glue it down everything still but I thought hmm, it could be interesting enough. Maybe oh maybe actually like that. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Why not? Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is gonna be roughly here. Oh, it's gonna be less visible. That's okay. I can add a little bit more there. <clears throat> a little bit more there. Oh, maybe even like that. Mm -hmm. Then from the lady, her own paper, her own kind of background here. Just a little bit, so it's not going to be that plain, but a mix of all kinds of textures. You see, mm, transparent gesso, uh, not transparent gesso, rice paper is very forgiving and it does nicely blend in. And your kind of your, um, your um, biggest secret, I think, my biggest secret when using Transpa when using um, je um, eye raised paper is that the background is pretty much pretty much white then everything looks so much nicer okay now that's what we have it would be nice to start thinking and adding our clock as we have thinking as, as we have thought about mm -hmm. but then now look at that Maybe here and maybe there. And now, before anything, let's just see. Mm -hmm. So this is bit, this will be nice, and then, yeah, cute. I like that. Mm -hmm. Nice, and same for here. There we go. How pretty is that? I like that canvas, I have to say. I mean, the canvas itself, it's so great. I bought it in Aldi. I'm not too sure if you... If you are Aldi... If you have Aldi in your country. It's like Lidl, a little bit. So, okay, I love it! Wow, it's very beautiful. Now, I was thinking about those, this clock, but doesn't seem to be anywhere. But what about if we just do it like that? You see the difference between ripping and... Uh, I think it doesn't matter. Sometimes it's fine this way, it's fine that way. Oh, wow, that would be lovely, actually. Let's see. No. Mm -mm. How did I do it in the first place? Like this? No. How did I do it in the first place? Maybe. No. Like this, possibly. Mm -hmm. Maybe like that. Okay. What about this one somewhere here? <clears throat> mm -hmm. 
I'm just touching just to see. Oh, where's my fourth corner? Oh, there we go. Or maybe. No, 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 probably this is best. And, or, yeah, I think so. I'm gonna just get rid of that a little bit. Or maybe here in the corner, actually. Yeah, why not? Mm -hmm. Something like that. I think it would be nice. Or maybe on top of that frame completely. No, no, I think we're gonna stick with the frame. I think I think it's gonna be nice. Then we have this clock. So I'm gonna just get it and maybe <coughs> use it as well. Whoops, that's okay. Now all the rice papers are back in stock and it's all in the store in my store we ship worldwide guys so feel free to check it out it's called maramismallart.com if you feel like having a look please do please do mm, i don't know i don't know i don't know no mm. and maybe here That could be nice. <coughs> this here and if I could lift this for a second but I don't think it's possible now. I'll see. Oh there is possibility like that. So if I could squeeze this somewhere here I think it could be nice. I think so, yes, okay. Now we have our answer. Oh, beautiful. Now I don't need this little bit being on top of my oh, flower. There we go. Uh -huh. Okay, then we can get this, this one here in the corner. So it's like we collaging really, decoupaging, collaging. <laughs> okay, perfecto, beautiful, beautiful. Mm -hmm. We can do same now for the frame itself. And I'm keep on, I am keep on working with the transparent gesso guys all the time. Okay, perfect and beautiful now I'm gonna do same thing here okay okay whoops I think you need to go a little bit up higher there we go nice mm-hmm I love it. Wow, how beautiful is that collage? How absolutely stunning. Okay, then we can get our clocks glued down. We have a good mixture of things here, guys, isn't it? We have not only decoupage paper, rice paper, but we have also magazine. A nice mix. And all kinds of... Um, all kinds of uh, themes you know we have some background wooden kind of thing we have some clocks we have some metal frame flowers a lady so a yeah, nice mix I think <coughs> mm -hmm. okay now time for our frames I love 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 it love 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 it Okay, this seems to be just right. Wow. Wow, wow, that's all I can say. Is wow. I think I feel we need to add some more. Mm -hmm. No, this way, this way. So a good brush is important now. 
I feel that I say nothing. Oh, am I? I feel I feel that I say nothing. <laughs> Regards, I use what I usually say about my family. Well, Lucas is at work, which is great. Girls are in the garden with Emily's friend uh, because they are having fun there and I'm able to record so maybe I'm a little bit <laughs> so I can finish off on time you know um, but Lucas will be working till very late which means that I'm gonna be um, recording more tonight to be honest you know what I love it so much I'm not too sure if I'm fancy any stenciling right now although I really really wanted it stretch stretch that straighten that it's beautiful I'm gonna leave it for now a little bit to dry it oh no I'm gonna dry this and then add stenciling maybe my collage is pretty much dry and I'm gonna add instead of this stenciling that I was thinking to no I'm tempted to add this I just didn't know which to add this one or this one I think I'm tempted <laughs> to add this one so what I will do now is I am gonna be trying to add stenciling in few places that can be interesting mm -hmm. now I wish to add my stenciling on the edge as well there we go in few places mm -hmm. what about I don't want her face to be <laughs> destroyed in any way so let me just get some magazine something here mm -hmm. what I'm adding right now is white gesso if you're wondering because I have very thick white gesso but usually texture paste works or um, heavy gel medium okay let's see super and texture paste or modeling paste oh nice so let's see here no I think oh, I may add a little bit here on top oops I just got rid of one of that pretty edge thing from the frame that's okay I'm very quiet today, isn't it? I tell you now why. Maybe that's why <laughs> Hannah woke up at, oh my, I don't know, 4 o'clock? And she was unhappy and crying for, oh, was it 2 hours? 2 hours. We eventually gave up and gave her carpool. We just didn't know what else to do. Okay, I think now, because this is such a great... Um, such a great um, canvas maybe that's why I, I, I'm like very disconnected today <laughs> I'm sorry if that's how you may feel I, I probably this is, this is me I'm just tired from lack of sleep and I just didn't think about it when I planned to record today you know I just didn't think that maybe it's not the best day but then when I have a free time at home that's what I just do. I just feel that I use the opportunity if I can, basically. Hi, Emmy. Hi. Everything is okay? Mm -hmm. so come in. Okay, I'm finishing. Now I'm just putting some texture paste and then I can mind her. So let me just grab more of that texture paste here on the side. Okay, let me just have some here. You don't see it, but I'll show you in a second, guys. Let me show you. It's like here. Oh. And 
anyway <laughs> you have to believe me oh, there we go so it's on both sides and I try to manage to do it on the other two and I'll get back to you once everything is dry after a few hours <laughs> I'm back to you Hannah is asleep Emily is reading her book upstairs Lucas is working it's evening but it's not that late which means that I will probably make one more project which is awesome now everything is dry and I really love it it's so different I, I cannot even explain it it's so different I like the idea that the frame being pushed inside made everything kind of smaller and I don't know just different I, I like it it's interesting I think it's time to check those uh, rusty patina imagination crafts I purchased them just because I purchased something else and something else that I cannot show you <laughs> yet or actually maybe it is on the channel already um, Oh, probably by the time you're watching this it means it is on the channel anyway it, uh, it was uh, mystery boxes um, mystery bags uh, that I've ordered actually and open it with you um, so I purchased this just because of that you know I didn't plan to buy it but because I was I said okay fine I'll check it I have opened this kind of ish not too much <laughs> so um, you know they weren't expensive and they were half price at the same time so for this qu uh, for this amount it was actually a good price so that's why I bought it I, th I thought oh, I'll check it okay I like that color well it's a G teal regular teal um, for um, for um, rusty look let's see if we have some water and how is that? Is this moving at all? It is moving, so we could use it like that. You can. Do you know what? I'm gonna use this for the next project actually because it's um it's it has this texture, the sandy texture to it. Mm, so I think it would be nice to use it in a proper way, not coloring way, not only coloring due to color, but also the texture would be nice to use it. So that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, this is so dark. Oh, you cannot see I'll show you it's written in the box I read that the more oh very nice but it's what it's it's black nearly black rust very strange isn't it I mean super strange uh, I read in do you know what I'm gonna make a test Um, I read that the, the more the bigger coat the darker it is but I didn't expect it's gonna be black it is literally like black but that's okay let's see what I will do is I'm gonna grab a baby wipe and let's see uh, some safe kind of spot maybe actually here let's see what happens if we do the if we do the just the oh it's kind of given this dirty <laughs> dirty look but it is black like that's very strange for the um for um rusty look it seems that I still cannot con concentrate forgive me that if I'm ooh, thinking what to say maybe it is the tiredness that it's kicking in okay this is very strange and I'm not too sure I'm fan of that at all to be honest you know it's okay but I don't know I'm not too sure what I was expecting but no actually if I mix this with brown it could be nice so what I may do is I may just grab the typical brown that I used last time with, um, which is oh actually I have this another genie mac this looks exactly the same different brand this one is made in Germany this one is made in Turkey but they literally <laughs> look so similar Do you know this is yeah this is kind of rusty what a nice mix now <laughs> we have so I may tr try that actually and see <gasps> this is very orange now oh but you know what for this color of the hair of the mm, that could be interesting I don't know I still don't know I don't feel for it I had a phone call in the meantime I'll be back in two seconds <laughs> it feels that I cannot finish off this video Hannah just woke up <laughs> in the meantime third time so 
I've tried some colors and it just doesn't kind of feel oh, I don't know I don't know and I'm trying different like this one look at this green which is really interesting especially that it is uh, like this kind of green you know so maybe maybe I'll do some kind of mix of different shades I don't know maybe this could be interesting actually then I found this Prima spray which if you have a look let's say if I'll if I spray some water if I have some water if I have some water being sprayed look at that it's a nice color actually that it is matching the the vintage look because it, it's green with the gold I think it's pretty interesting color and I think that I can just have it in places I like that actually you know it's not that heavy as paint like acrylic paint actually I also made tea to, for myself uh, it is so cold today it's I just turned on the heating as well it's the second time today but the first time since summer I think that I turn on the heating um, it didn't there was no need beforehand which is great <clears throat> but today I just felt mm, no I need some heat some warmth so I have it on now I'm gonna turn it off now in a second but yeah it feels very winterish it starts to feel very winterish so for you maybe it seems that I'm what am I doing I'm doing okay with the color I just I'm gonna spray some water and it will hopefully run away and run down in places and give me this beautiful delicate look with the color that I need I'm going into be in between the grooves of my of my modeling place my my texture here and there I'm sorry that I'm kind of less spokative today it just feels that that's how it is you know sometimes I guess sometimes it happens like that and I have no explanation maybe today it's because of um, as I said I don't know what time she woke up because I didn't check it but it felt it was dark and by the time she fell asleep it was night t uh, daytime so we woke up at 12 today actually because I think she was still awake after at 8 o'clock uh, from 4 till 8 it felt like this so the whole day was very strange then afterwards you know oh, I love that let's see what happens here so now I will definitely need tissue but let's wait and see what happens I don't want things to go on the face of her okay I love that so I'm gonna dry this now gently maybe a little bit of baby wipe where she is just a little bit just a little bit because it's it's good as it is my canvas is pretty much dry but I was thinking I'm tempted still I'm not gonna use the green one for sure because I don't feel like for it mm -hmm. I don't feel like for the green but this this uh, very red no but this black I'm tempted to go for the edges you know for the edges like here and see what happens so kind of make it darker here also on the side here and see what happens so let's say like this water hmm that's nice actually and then maybe 
what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just gently get the excess off with my tissue it has this 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 feel of the roughness in the in the texture so it has this sandy kind of feel to to it which is nice it's very dark actually it's crazy dark I must say I'm pretty surprised with it but maybe that's the idea I don't know so I'm gonna get rid of that excess with my baby wipe and make this just nice and darker okay I think I wished for some brown there hmm how about oh yeah before anything dries <laughs> let's try to fix this because this should be a little wiped off as well the texture paste is very rough so my tissue is <laughs> very destroyed in the process <clears throat> but that's fine and I think I'm tempted to use that brown where is it where is that brown that I was using only recently Dun -dun -dun. where is it I found it it's the the one that I've used the last time with my previous project I think but I like this one because it's kind of brownish and I like it so I can add this brown in the edges oh come on I need a little bit more and then I'm gonna wipe it off with the baby wipe that's what I'm gonna do and the black as well so I'm trying to make this edge really <clears throat> that's gonna be darker and don't worry we wiped it off everything we will wipe it off <laughs> please don't stress don't be nervous don't be nervous we will we will fix it all oh, come on. because i don't have full water <laughs> I don't believe it. I need to add some water to this one so it will run smoothly. It has to be full if you're not in the upright position with your bottle, which I'm not. So now it should work. Dum dum. <laughs> okay, it's not about the water, maybe it's about the the nozzle thing. I hope. <clears throat> okay. A mess. It feels like a mess, isn't it? <laughs> Don't worry. It will be all nice and done. Let's dry this a little bit. I'm going to towards outside kind of so I would like some some pigment to stay and then a lot of pigment I would like to be going hard to explain but that's that's how I feel so a lot of that to go I'm gonna get rid of with this Oh, I like this coloring now here. This is a little bit too dark in here. Okay. Uh huh. I like that now. Here. Let's get rid of that element. Mm hmm. I 
hope you can see the light in the tunnel <laughs> as I do. Back to you, look at our canvas. It's really decoupage on canvas. We've done a lot of decoupage techniques. So this is our side here and there and I think we definitely need a little bit more work happening. I can use this gold uh, spray. It's gonna be hard for you to see simply because uh, it's very high. But I'm, I added some spray and now I'm just... oops! Go back because we just just went <laughs> on this side that's okay so I'm just gonna try to clean here and there and then I'm gonna add no I'm gonna dry this bit and add on the other side mm, be careful when you are doing sides of your canvas so that the color is not gonna go on the top of your canvas on your ma main project on your main page so this is the mess from doing the sides. I have all the sides colored. You cannot see much because it's... Anyway, you have to believe me. <laughs> so here it is, our canvas. I have another idea. I was thinking to add some gold and I have brand new Nouveau embellishments mousse. But I do know I had them before but they dry out. I got this one actually from a friend. They do work as like a go Inca gold, like waxes. There we go. So I thought, why not to add some gold in places because it really does feel kind of, I don't know, vintagey, but also kind of like a p picture from the museum. I don't know how to explain it <laughs> to you. That uh, like a framed picture so I think this gold could be indeed in fact really really nice let's see I think so I think so why not why not have a little bit of a touch of gold now they say some people say do not use finger in inside your mousse well to be honest by the time I use it nothing is gonna happen it's gonna be dry out before I finish ever using it so I don't really pay attention to that and, and if you have any mold inside it's not really a mold usually it's just what happens with the products that they just react with air and all and just kind of some chemicals are taken uh, standing out more so not to be worried too much about it I'm not <laughs> What do you think? <laughs> so different, so different. I am still lacking a little bit of whiteness in here. I'm gonna try and see. And I also, I feel that I wish to make my, um, what you call it, my um, frame kind of stand out even more by maybe uh, outlining a little bit the frame itself. I'll see now. I'll see. Let's see. I see, let's see. So I was thinking to take my pencil and just and just go go like here and then smudge it. There we go. So it's gonna be more like. <clears throat> Yeah, I like that now. On both sides actually we could do. And gold old pencil may do the magic to finish off the project possibly. The way as we would love to see it and feel for it. I think so, there's a big chance for it. Now that I'm looking, <laughs> I like that now. You know, the small touches oftentimes is the key to to your project. You sometimes looking at your project and you're not too sure. I was not too sure all the way. <laughs> I'm never too sure. 
you can always hear it in my voice that I'm struggling is a bad word, but that I'm thinking. Hmm. What else? What else? How to improve it? How to make it even nicer? You know? So that kind of way. But I begin to like it a lot now. Usually when it comes to the end, I I start to have the be better feeling for the project. Especially projects like this that I'm not doing every day, every week, every month. Projects that are each of them are so individual and you don't really repeat that much techniques here because you use each time different kind of idea altogether. And when you, when I do like art journaling that I do all the time, oops, I just smudged it too much. It's just just so much easier for me to to you know have it done and to feel for it and know what I'm doing and so on and so forth. Which here it's more like a trial base project, but I do love it. Oh, I see my battery is nearly gone. I'm gonna have to pause that, change the battery before it dies on me. I don't want you miss out any part of the project, of the process. Mm -hmm. I like that. So instead of using ink on your sides, you can certainly use your pencil. <laughs> you can use your pencil. This one is graphite pencil. If you, if you, if you're wondering at any point, at any point. looking if we're still recording we are did I tell you that I'm a lazy person I just I'm lazy to ch change the battery and I'm thinking oh, maybe it will last till I'm finished I don't think so but I'm looking and checking looking and checking looking and checking Wow <laughs> I love it I really do I just have to maybe make this as our or not. I don't know now. I'm not too sure. I can always wipe it off. I can always wipe it off or not. <laughs> I can. No, I think I'm gonna leave it without this line here. No. No, it's better. Oops! <laughs> not this finger, not this finger. Yeah, it's better without it, definitely. Okay. So we're nearly there. Oh, my finger is wet and now it's smudging too much. So be careful on that, guys. If you're smudging your projects, you must have your fingers dry. Dry, dry, dry. I'm looking if I missed any parts. If I missed any parts. Project like that is very time consuming, isn't it? It's a big canvas, big enough. It is taking some time. So to perfect it, to love it, you have to pet it and you have to add this and you have to think for that and check this and you know see how really it feels for you and it is taking a lot of time. It really is. So there is no rush in this process, I guess. Now, I think I'm very happy with it now. And then, what I'm thinking is to get... Do you know, actually in the camera, this white in here looks very white, which in life is not that white. But one thing only I'm going to change. I'm going to leave the girl because she's super happy there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some white and I'm going to just soften here the... Oh, you see? Soften up a little bit here. And that's it, maybe. Or maybe there is no need for that, I don't know. 
I don't know. Maybe I'm just gonna get the this thing, the spray a little bit and just make this less standing out. Oh, there we go. There we go. I think so. Yeah, it was just kind of too much. I don't know. <laughs> uh, are we done here? Is it possible? But one thing that comes to my mind still is to outline even more. But I'm just not too sure if this is not gonna be too much. <clears throat> I I don't want to you know destroy it in any way. I would I wouldn't forgive it to myself. I think I'm gonna leave it, guys, as it is. I don't want this to be. Hmm. I'm afraid to do anything to it. Now funny enough the plan for the head was completely different because I meant to do add flowers, add some metal embellishments and maybe chipboards but it turned to be just a coupage really and I like that as it is just like this as it is just like this I love it and I think I'm happy to leave it without adding any dimensional to it. We have collage decoupage canvas beautiful project uh, like a picture you know that you can hang on the wall you can gift it something like that to someone you can add a little title whatever you feel like I feel for one thing I, I show you what I was thinking to add I was thinking to add this Nouveau Drops pearls but just doesn't want to work and I have this new puffy paint 3d puffy paint you know what and this one is actually the exact colors it's from Tiger I have no clue if it's gonna work because I haven't tried it yet and I'll see. Oh yes, it's sealed. Nice, nicely. Oh! Oops! A lot came out. That's okay. I'll see if this is actually making nice... Oops! OMG, everything is gold now. <laughs> I'll see if this is making any nice... Um, oh! The paint is... Oh, it's not too bad. I was thinking to make those gold dots, guys. Yes. Oh, yes, baby. That's exactly what I'm going to do now. I think it looks beautiful. And this is the missing, maybe not piece, but missing touch. I think so. I really think so. It is changing everything now. It is changing everything so much now. Wow. So this one, this puffy paint is from from um, um, Ranger, the Ranch, not the not Ranger from from the Tiger, not from the Ranch. Oh, Marta, it's nearly midnight. It's three to midnight. Maybe that's why. But I really wanted to use the opportunity of having empty house and record for you. So I really hope you will forgive me all the messiness today and quietness and I also I, I, I actually relaxing I'm relaxing myself which I'm not rushing maybe that's why I'm this I'm kind of contemplating today a lot which is good I'm not you know it's not a competition it's not um, it's not a race today I'm just really enjoying contemplating this art piece that it's so different and I really wish to bring you something nice and different you know I just love you so much I love making videos for you so much maybe just sometimes as we people don't have the full form like you know like the exact form I wish but no I look like really bad I look like really bad I really do look bad I feel do good I feel great I might just maybe I'm just lacking the energy a little bit but that's okay. I still will temp attempt a project today because I'm going to alter a bottle. And I may not finish it, but I will start so I can finish it tomorrow. But I can add the heavy objects because I'm planning on metals. So this will dry overnight, which will be great. So that's what I may do. I really feel that this puffy paint now is making the job for the whole piece. Wow. Wowie. Do I close it? Do I like make those? Um, no, I I don't know if I should actually. I'm gonna chance it and just see. Yes, 
I think I'm gonna close this guys not with the line with the um, gray pencil oh yes sometimes you just have to try it again and then try it again and then try it again <sighs> did I tell you that I love it so much but honestly it was it was a tough project to finish off. I think a mixture and challenging of so many things. Okay, this is wonky a little bit. That's okay. Look, that's okay. I mean, no, it is not okay. It's a little bit too much of down and up. And can I fix it? I'm looking if I can fix it in any way. I think I try. I'll try. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna try to fix it since it's gold anyway it's not that bad okay let's see if we can just fix this don't be afraid to fix your mistakes that's fine you know I'll see if the feeling will be better than a minute ago yeah I think so oh definitely definitely it's better so the sides now I'm so pleased with this project and the, actually the pearls are doing the job isn't it I like the clocks that they're sticking out so nicely they're part of the whole picture and it's just I don't know it's just nice it feels nice it feels good wow okay I think I can call this finished it's like a jewelry finished isn't it I'm nearly tempted to do second coat around it but I think I'm gonna leave it at that will I? <laughs> I'm gonna see I can always wash it off I can always wash it off I don't know now. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe just a little bit. Like not fully closed. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I mean. Mm hmm. This puffy paint is falling off my bottle big time. A lot like. There we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. Oh wow. Wow. We. I, I love it. I, <laughs> it is something that I haven't think of in a million years. The idea was completely different. Yes, the battery died eventually. <laughs> I really really love it like it it's so different so big and wow uh, one thing I should do is add a little bit of uh, on the side a little bit of gold I can do that off camera but I hope you like this I really hope that this decoupage collage a little bit of mixed media touch canvas vintage I'm not sure if it's vintage it's like I don't know jewelry it feels that it's very I don't know <laughs> I really hope you liked it and enjoyed this process tutorial and if you did please let me know what you think in the comment section down below I would love to hear from you always a pleasure to read your comments and thank you so much in advance for all the beautiful words you're sending me it means so much and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because uh, you will be notified about all the videos that I upload which is super important and that you won't miss anything and just give me a thumbs up and share the video if you feel like it. That would be lovely. Thank you so much. I'm going to wrap up at that, finish at that, and I'm going to go and maybe start off another project since it's only midnight. <laughs> Thank you so much. Love you loads, but I have to go. Till the next time. Bye. Bye-bye.